What's up everyone, John here from ContraBIM and I have a short tutorial for you here today on Archicad's piping systems. Now we're going to not really be talking so much about modeling in this tutorial here, um, but I wanted to show you a few kind of uh, tricks or hacks for how to go from our normal display of our piping systems, which uh, generally has a center line and contour lines on the exterior. Uh, I want to show you how you can kind of hack this so that you can represent your piping systems as a single line as we're looking at here on this layout. So I also want to show you kind of a bonus hack as well for how to override uh, piping systems so that they can either show up as like an under uh, pen or like a, a below type pen, which in this case is noted by the dashed line versus something that's routing up above, which in this case is noted from a solid line. You can actually see here on some of these labels where we're going from off this water heater at a certain elevation, diving down and then below the floor goes to a dashed line. So I'll show you how to do that at the end and I'll have a little bonus download for you as well if you want to uh, download uh, the little tool that we have that will help you achieve this. So, okay, let's go ahead and we're going to jump back to our model view here. And I really want to just kind of show you this hack right away. It's just essentially, this is uh, kind of built into a pen set that we are utilizing here. So you can actually see a few different versions of this here. As we click through, uh, you can see a pen set that's uh, essentially turns a lot of the fills to dark. We have a pen set that's a single line and then we can bump that up a little bit in thickness if we want. And the other thing at play here is we have a graphic override turned on. So uh, right now we're still on our layout pens. Let's go back to our model pens here real quick. So this is kind of like our normal display of our project. You can see uh, the floor beams there, all the walls, all the fixtures, everything else. Um, on this graphic override, when we switch this over to a kind of a visual highlight for plumbing here, you can see that we're fading out a lot of that content to really try to bring the piping systems uh, to the forefront as that is really our purpose for this type of view and this type of drawing. So, okay, so yeah, there's a few different things at play here. So let's kind of click through all of them. So the model pens, we have layout pens, we have the layout, or sorry, the model pens that are single line, and then we have the layout pens that um, are single line that are also bumped up a little bit. So let's jump into our pen set here, and I'm going to kind of give you a little bit of a preview of what's going on. So I want to point out there's two rows within my pen set that are very uh, particular, uh, purpose built. And as I'm clicking through these here, you can probably see which ones I'm alluding to. And that is these rows right here. So we actually have within our own kind of custom pen set that we built uh, for the ContraBIM template, we have actually 40 pens that are designated for MEPs. Now we might've been able to do it with a little bit less than that, than this, um, and get a little bit different output, but um, I think this is a good a number of pens to really kind of achieve the goals of what we set out with here, which was to be able to show views like this that are in single line. Now, the way that we do that is we actually have kind of a base pen assigned in this case to like domestic cold water. We can see our domestic cold water and hot water here in the background. Uh, we have hot water returns. We have a storm drain would be a purple. Uh, I think there's one off to the side there we're not seeing. Um, you can see a sanitary waste that is this one right here, uh, vent. Um, so we have kind of like the primary types of MEP systems with designated pens associated. Now our second row here, which at first look is the exact same pen, uh, these are contour pens that we have set up. And the reason that we've done this is when we have a view that we want to see uh, the full uh, system pen, including the center line as well as the contours in the same color, then we can um, use both of these pens for those one MEP systems. We'll jump into the MEP system uh, preferences here next um, and kind of drive this point home. But um, you can see here when we jump from our model pens to like our layout pens here, this entire row goes white and to a zero pen or zero thickness. So this is essentially a hairline white pen. And um, so that's kind of the trick behind this here is we are uh, switching from full colored pens on our contour as well as our center line. In some cases, we can just darken our contours and uh, fill pens out as shown here, uh, or we can switch those over to white, uh, full color, white 
um, grade scale for the rest of the things, uh, the rest of the pens, I should say. Um, and so that's how we're achieving this here. So it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy to use. It does take up a chunk of our pens, but um, we still have plenty of other pens for a range of different colors and does as well as uh, specific purposes. So it's not really too much of an issue for us. So, okay, let's go ahead and we will take a little bit closer look at this by actually jumping into our uh, MEP tools so we can or, or attributes I should say so let's go into our MEP preferences here and let's go to our like our sanitary waste system and just to kind of show you where these pens are actually getting mapped so we have our contour pen here so this is the one that's being mapped to that second row there which if you recall that row goes white so uh, same thing with our fill pen here. Those both of our contours and our fills will ultimately switch over to a white pen when we want to go to that single line mode. Our center line here, that is what we use for this top um, row here. And so that enables us to keep that color and then um, be able to kind of turn off the others. So let's just temporarily switch this over here to our layout pens. We'll go back into our... Uh, preferences there and you can see that these pens just went white so when we are in that view then essentially things get faded out which is which is awesome um, the other thing that we can look at here if we go to no overrides um, you can actually see here if we zoom in, zoom in you can see those white lines showing up there um, so that is um, you know that is something that is occurring here um, it's to me, it's not that big of a deal. Like we do see a little bit of those fills and some of those lines there, but um, overall, when you're looking at this, either in a view like this, which um, does not have our overrides turned on, this is just like our MEP, our layout pens for MEP single line here. So that's doing like a nice job of just highlighting it. If we actually turn on our graphic override as well, it's going to really bring uh, those piping systems to the forefront and you actually see less well, you can still see a little bit of it there, like a little bit of that fill being shown on top of that there, um, which is fine. I, I'm okay with that. It it looks looks good here. It also looks good on our layouts as well. And so, um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It um, kind of serves the purpose. And um, yeah, if you have a lot of stuff that it's kind of drawn on top of each other, then you may see more of uh, kind of that white that's being shown on top. But if we really wanted to be kind of sticklers on how this outputs, then we could actually go in and we could adjust uh, the display order on these and you know bring some stuff forward and then you wouldn't see the fills on top of it. But um, I don't really care that much about it because uh, for, for now, uh, it looks pretty good. So, okay, so that's kind of the first hack that I wanted to show you here, which is really something that's built into kind of the core attributes of this template here. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out so that if you did want to try to do this, then this is one method for achieving that. The alternative, if you didn't want to dedicate so many pens to it, is you could um, assign all your pens or all your MEP systems to just like a single pen here that would say go from black to white when you go from a like a colored view to a um, layout type view. Um, it wouldn't quite achieve, achieve the same purpose, but uh, um, it would be another way to use less pens if you were, you know, didn't want to waste or, you know, dedicate 20 specific pens to that uh, particular function there. So there, there, it would, there would be another way of doing this uh, with a little bit less pens is all I'm trying to say. Um, so, okay, let's move on here to the next topic that I wanted to cover as well, uh, which is part of our graphic override here. Now, if we actually turn off our graphic overrides, um, and just for the sake of kind of visually seeing uh, what's on top here, um, in this view here, we are essentially seeing the, the single line of our pens or of our piping tools with the center line pen as it's defined in the actual MEP preferences. So if we actually look at our MEP preferences here, uh, you'll probably notice that we are using, using that dashed and dotted pen uh, kind of, you know, in a lot of different cases. So let's actually switch this over. We'll set this to a solid uh, just for the moment. And you can see that that sewer line will go solid. Um, now the cool thing with this and in combination with um, using some graphic overrides here, 
Um, and actually just for the sake of this, let's, uh, let's make all of these solid just for the sake. So let's go to our cold water and we're going to make this solid. We're going to go to our hot water. We're going to make this solid as well. And so all these pens in this view here should all go solid. So the cool thing with this graphic override is when we turn this on here, uh, not only is it going to fade out all the elements that we don't want to see, but it's also going to override the center line pen that we are seeing in this view. It's actually going to override all the pens that we're seeing in this view as related to the plumbing. So you'll notice all of our pens, the ones that are below, which we can see here from these labels. So this is telling us that our top in this case is at uh, about a one foot below our bottom which would be the end of this pipe over somewhere over here is minus one foot six um and so that's you know that confirms with us that it is below and we can see that that's gone now to a dashed line uh same thing with uh, up above so anything up above here see we, like from five feet down to uh you know below one foot uh we can see how that piping tool will change depending on its elevation. Now you probably already can think about how we have set this up. Let's go in and inspect in this graphic override. We do have two overrides or rules that are in play here, um, kind of on top of our visual highlights, uh, which one would be our uh, MEP below line type, which in this case is um, essentially just looking for all types of elements that are below zero and are in the branch of a flow segment or a flow fitting. And then all we're doing here is just overriding with a specific dashed line. So that's how we're achieving this here. Uh, the ones that are above, we are just making them solid through the exact same workflow here. Uh, but in this case, we're just going for anything up above. Now we could create different, um, kind of layers to this as well. Say if we wanted to show stuff that was just above like, I don't know, like eight feet or 10 feet on our project, we can always put another kind of filter in here so that we're using the elevation of the pipes themselves to determine uh, the override and the type of line that's getting assigned to it. The other cool thing about using um, these overrides here, um, and let's just kind of grab one example of this here um, is by using an override with our center line pen, it actually gives us the ability to add symbol lines to those MEP systems as well. So what's awesome about this is if you do have uh, symbol lines that are created uh, for specific systems here, like we can just go sanitary sewer below floor and override this here, you'll see that um, well, it's going to override all of our pens, not just the sanitary sewer in this case, because we haven't specified that, but it will actually override that center line pen there as well as our contour. You can actually see when we are on, um, or when we select it here, we can actually see that those white lines were overridden as well for those contours. So, um, there's kind of a lot of stuff at play here. Uh, I just, did, I just wanted to point that out though. That is an option to uh, be able to override with a symbol line, uh, to be able to kind of embed into it, into those different systems, um, the actual uh, notes for what those systems are. But of course we can achieve, achieve the same thing with the labeling tools. So it may not necessarily be, uh, you know, required in this case, um, but it can be kind of a cool way to override some things. But if you did want to actually get that to work, then you'd have to set up several different rules for different systems so that we have one for sanitary sewer above and below potentially, um, or, you know, hot water and cold water, which I think we already have, but we just haven't spent the time to create all those additional rules uh, for each one of those particular cases. So, okay, I think that is pretty much what I wanted to cover here today. I will post a download of this graphic override if you want to play around with this a little bit. Uh, when you bring it into your own, you'll probably have to make some adjustments on some different settings here. Um, but uh, yeah, at least you can bring it in, play around with it, and uh, uh, try to get this married up to whatever template you may be working with. Uh, we do have two other graphic override rules that are added here. We have one to just kind of highlight some of our equipment, which uh, often would get a... Uh, you know, some plumbing. So that's why it's on here on our plumbing override. The other one that we have here is kind of like a uh, inverse type override where we're looking for anything that is not plumbing or is not site mechanical utilities. And then we are fading it out here. So that's working kind of in the opposite direction of fading out everything that's not plumbing. So, 
Okay, I think that uh, pretty well wraps this one up. If you have any questions on this, then let me know. Just uh, plug it into the comments there. Uh, if you want to download this graphic override, uh, I'll post a link in the description uh, to run over to the blog and you can... Uh, uh, just fill out your email and then we'll email this to you directly. And yeah, if you want to learn more about MEP systems and even uh, see how we have built this uh, sample project and modeled in the piping as well as the um, all the other systems that are in here as well, then uh, consider joining the ContraBIM membership where you can walk through step-by-step -step for seeing how we built this entire project. And um, yeah, we have a lot more stuff there as well. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of scratching the surface here in today's video, um, but hopefully this gives you a good idea for how uh, some of these things can be set up. So I um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, then definitely let us know, and we will catch you on another ContraBIM video very soon. Thanks for watching.